was there any laugh moment or any reaction from the audience that surprised you? No, I think I was, you know, you, you're watching a movie so much down the stretch in a room by yourself when you're doing all this, you forget that there is a lot of joy and laughter in the movie. And I, I was very happy. We were discussing after the audience was just so intelligent here. And they were really finding all the right places. And it's a, it's a delicate film that way because, um, you know, we, we really have to navigate some tricky waters because we're dealing with such, such heavy emotions at time. And then finding those, you know, moments of lightness throughout and laughter even when there's tragedy sort of uh, looming on the horizon. Um, but I was really, really, uh, you know, just happy with the reaction that way. It was, just, it was just a joy to listen to the audience. What was one of the more interesting things that was asked of you by the audience in the, in the Q&A session? Um, well, the first question was, it was great if a guy stood up and said, uh, so Richard, who are you taking to the Oscars? <laughs> I thought that was a nice way to kick it off. Uh, and, uh, and then, you know, I, we've just heard so much already about him and how people are really responding to his performance, which is wonderful, and, and the four actors, the ensemble. But, you know, it was interesting. People, it was twofold, just like the movie is. One, the second question was all about the administration and the policy and my comments and really a politicized sort of charged comment. And then the next guy stood up at the back and said, this isn't about politics. This is about a guy who's really bored with his life. And he, he was sort of like projecting a little bit, I think, but, but had a very valid point, which it is. It's about also the story about a man who's just stuck in a rotten life and, and, and is just uh, is not is very static in his existence and through this almost tragic circumstance and surprising circumstance he starts to come alive and I think that's the duality of the film you know um, and uh, so that was kind of really fun and exciting it was really great Q&A people were really charged um, one woman stood up and said she thought it was a horror movie in a nice contemporary package. And I thought that, well, that was really interesting that she used horror movie. I was like, wow. Because, you know, she was obviously very moved by the detention facility and that kind of thing. So they were a great group, smart group of people. 